So I'm packing up to leave tomorrow and I started to pack my like notebooks and journals and I thought I would discuss my commonplace book and how I'm using it these days. Now it is the 4th of July so if you hear fireworks, I'm sorry. <laughs> they can be really loud but this is my Field Notes commonplace book that I started mm, maybe two months ago. I can't quite remember, but the point of the commonplace book is to write for writing's sake, to break things up into different categories, to kind of like organize your notes. Now for my commonplace book, I did take inspiration from another YouTuber that has this very similar format, even though now she has switched to a file of fact. She does not use field notes anymore, but when she did, I kind of mimicked her style, I guess. But for the different categories for this book, I had different colors for each category, and it was copied text or quotes, gratitude, which I really did like, brain drain, special interests, book notes, and... Um, I also put one, which might seem kind of funny, but I also put one for compliments because I did learn in a podcast that it might seem very conceited, but that it can be very beneficial to your mental health to write down compliments that people give you. And it does not have to necessarily be um, that you look beautiful or that you are... Um, like it does not have to do with appearance is what I'm trying to say. It could be that your boss said you did a really good job at work, that you did a really good job on that project. And so you should write down those things because just in general, we tend to, or I tend to, and I feel like a lot of people do just kind of brush off compliments or give credit to someone else when someone gives you a compliment. Like someone gave me a compliment for doing a good job and I completely gave the credit to someone else. And I just, after I had that discussion, I kind of realized like I completely like did not take that compliment and like, I just kind of, I gave someone else the credit for that. And there's no, that, I'm totally ranting right now. <laughs> I'm totally going off topic, but anyway, um, I just learned that writing down compliments can just, can help our brain to focus on a lot of the good things and not just only the bad things. Um, and writing those things down can help them stick in your brain longer. So anyway, so that is how I wanted to use this commonplace book. What I noticed is that the one category that I enjoyed the most was brain drain. So writing down like any thought in my mind, <laughs> um, emotions I was having, anything that was happening during my day, that's the one that I enjoyed writing the most. And that quite a few of these I did not end up writing, which was copy text, the book notes, and special interest. These three I did not end up really using. I did try to do some research and use those um, the blue dots for like special interests. And I did kind of like that, but I just found that I didn't do a lot of that. Um, but I did really like the gratitude dots and um, also the compliment ones. This is an example of one of the book um, notes, which I did like, but I just found that it just kind of became a little too much. It, it just was a little too much, this book like a little too much planning. When I found that what I wanted to do was just write everything that was going on that day, or just like even to rant or to just, to just write and write, that's what I found I wanted to do in this book more. Even though I do like this. So this concept of commonplacing, I'm not necessarily getting rid of it, but I'm just kind of starting a different type of book. Here's another book entry. So I kind of like have the synopsis, the genre, how many pages it was, what I thought of the book. 
And then here's another like special interest page. I think I filmed this one. I was really wanting a CD player and I remember having a Walkman like this and it just made me happy to print these out and then write about them. Um, so the more special interest stuff. But, um, oh, more special interest. So I, I did use categories, the keys, the dots, but what I decided to do, I'm not finished with this book. I'm gonna, I do wanna finish it. But what I decided to do is to have a book just for brain drain. And I'm calling it my anything and everything book. I filmed myself making this, but this book is um, made out of a composition book. I really like the size of this. I went back and forth so much on whether I wanted to continue to use field notes or make my own books or get books that just had more pages because the field notes only have 48 pages. And I realized that with this type of journaling or type of note taking, I go through so many pages. So my idea with this book, with this notebook is that like someone could pick this up and look at it and it wouldn't be complete, like very personal. It's like notes about books and different things, but the brain drain part of it is pretty personal. So this book is definitely a very personal book because my rule for this book is that I can write about anything and everything, no matter how um, like silly it might be or how boring the writing might be, I can just write and write and write. And I love this type of notebook. With this book, I started off with this book just writing about my environment. I was very bored and I just wrote about like what I saw around me and what was happening in the, that moment. Now that's not something that I've ever done before <laughs> and I really liked it and I decided that I was going to continue to just write about in the moment what was happening in that moment. To like capture moments kind of like pictures. But this could also be a place to write about, like, kind of like maybe things that you don't want. Oh, it's hard to explain. Like, think of this as a place to put every single thought in your head or any event that happens to you. And I'm not gonna show very many pages in this, but um, I'll show you an example of one. So I liked to date them, but I also like to put the time for each, like for the sentences that I write, like right here, I was working on the stupid crest. <laughs> I was really stressed out about the crest, but I just put that at 334, that's what I was doing. I don't know why, but the time stamps just help me break everything up instead of just um, just having a long paragraph. So I really like seeing like at what time I was doing different things, but it could just be like so random. Like I was trying to decide if I was gonna wash my car or not, or not. And I just wanted to write that down. But this could also be a place, a safe place to just kind of like rant about things. Like for instance, and I don't want this to be a negative book, just like writing every single negative thing, but I had an event at school where a student was like super rude to me. And I didn't necessarily want to rant to anyone about that. I was like, I don't need to bother anyone with this information, <laughs> but I wrote about it. <laughs> I was like, this happened and this happened and this student was very rude. So it's kind of like, like almost as, might sound kind of sad, but like like talking to a friend. That's kind of how I see this notebook with no judgment. That's the thing about this book is that there is absolutely no like, should I write that? Should I not write that? Or would I even care to look back on this dumb information? 
it doesn't matter because anything goes in this book. I finished one. And um, this, I went through this pretty fast. I started this in April, beginning of April, and finished this in May. So this notebook, oh, the middle of April. So this was like a month and a half. I kind of have the idea that these, I'm probably gonna have one each month or possibly like two months, but not longer than that. That's why I like that they're very small. Now, I love the pocket size. This one is smaller. And I was like, do I need to commit to this really small size or can I you know, go up a size? But what I did, this is my second book and I have little numbers. I converted a composition notebook, like a mini one, and I put my own pages in it because I wanted grid, not lined. I don't like lined paper. I like grid or blank. Okay, so this is a page from my second book. I started to put a line for like a margin for the time and I ended up not liking that. I didn't do it very long, but I just wrote like when I got to work, um, I found this, this is something that I like for this book. It's like, I could just put like a coffee sticker, uh, like a Starbucks sticker that's on a cup on here it can kind of be a smash book. Um, so it is still holding memories, but just like every single memory, I guess. I found this post-it note on the floor and I thought it was really cute. So I just put it in here and wrote, I found this on the floor can be super random. That's why I like to have the timestamp so that the randomness just kind of is broken up, if that makes sense. This book does not necessarily need to be pretty. I started to put some stickers here and there, but the goal is not for it to be pretty. It's to just write everything. I tried to also write across instead of, um, like down, but ended up not liking that either. But that's what I just, I like about this book. I can just do whatever in this book. And for this book, for a line a day, this kind of book, you write like a short paragraph of what happened that day. And I love that concept because I'll look back and be like, oh, this, on this day, we were doing that. I totally forgot that that happened two years ago. Um, and it's, this is five years. This is just kind of like a very um, detailed version of this. That's kind of how I see it. So like for my whole day, what happened throughout that entire day? And I don't hold myself to it. Like if I don't do it for a day, it's fine because it's not so much for me to remember all of this stuff. It's kind of just a place to like, unpack your brain. I guess that's what this would be. So brain drain, you're just kind of anything you're thinking that you want to write down. Now the trap for this book that I've noticed is that this can be a very negative space if you let it. This could become like a complaining book, which I do not like, which I found I was doing. So what I, I mean, it's so easy for us to focus on the negative over the positive. That's just how our brain works. <laughs> um, what I decided I wanted to do more is to use the pink sticker for gratitude in here and try to be more accountable of writing things that I'm grateful for and also writing not just the things that I want to complain about, but also the things, like all the good things that happened too. Oh, my light just turned off. So this just style of journaling, note taking has just been very, very freeing, very fun. And it's, it's literally like, just like talking to like a friend with zero judgment. I can look back at some of these pages 
and cringe <laughs> or think like, okay, maybe I just was like super negative that entire day and that's all I wrote about, but it's okay. Because sometimes you just need to write down how you're feeling to help process feelings. Or maybe I only wrote about good things because my day was super great. So I hope that makes sense. But that's basically what these are, just brain drain. That's what these have become. Now, I felt kind of trapped in this size of book. And since I'm going through these so fast, I did not want to continue to make them. So I decided after days of trying to decide, <laughs> I am going to pocket size. So I'm going back to field notes size because I can buy this book with grid lines already and the pages are bigger so this will last longer and I don't have to make it. And it's hard to find gridded paper that is white, like stark white, because almost every single book, notebook is like off-white. And I'm the type of person that does not like off-white paper, which I know is not most people. Most people like off-white, like softer paper. I like very, very white paper. So when I found this on Amazon, I was really happy so I can just keep buying these and they're only like 12 bucks instead of making my books every month which can be fun but I was just kind of like oh my goodness if I go through one a month that's like a lot of book binding <laughs> but this size is so cute however this is just going to be more practical and there are so many more pages in this book so I wanted to show these because this, I'm starting this one tomorrow on our trip. I'm going to take this on our trip and I'm, oh, it goes like this. <laughs> and I'm excited to go into this new size and to start a new book. Now this book, I did not go all the way to the end. I think I have, I have like six pages left in this, which I don't like, but it's okay. I didn't go all the way to, I don't want to take this on the trip and have like four pages of our trip and then start in this. I would rather just start in this book. And I also use these little stickers to mark the pages, even though I, oh, I kind of fell off of that a little bit. So every day I would put a new sticker. And for this book, I used complementary colors. I'm sorry, not complementary, uh, primary colors. So I used, uh, let's see if I can show you. I used red, blue, and yellow because I liked the blue cover and then that I had yellow and red. I liked that. For this one, I used uh, blue, black, gray, and light blue. So I used four colors, so I used these right here. And I made this little pocket in the back for these stickers. For this book, I think what I'm gonna do is for my trip, I'm going to use all gold or silver i'm trying to decide but for every day i'll put a, a sticker on the edge so that every day has a different every day is marked but they'll all for all the trip it'll all be the same color and then when i come back i'll use a different color that's what i think i'm going to do for this one i don't know how long i've been talking <laughs> but um it's fine I, I decided I'm gonna do silver not gold after I put the gold up to the black I decided I didn't like it and also for these numbers I've been using silver so the downside to this notebook which I also bought oops in blank paper to use as a sketchbook I really like it but stickers do not stick to this like leather very well and since it's a floppy cover or like a soft cover the stickers just kind of bend off, but I'm thinking this little tiny three will be fine. But these covers are just like not very customizable. Like at least I haven't figured out a way to like put stickers on here and they stay. <laughs> Even like um, waterproof stickers, they just kind of, they peel off. And um, this, I'm probably gonna make a little pocket back here for my stickers and then Things from our trip, I'm just gonna uh, put in here and 
just anything that's on my mind and things that I'm grateful for. So I've been very much enjoying this. I, I even like that, I mean, at the end of the year, if I continue with this, I'll have a bunch of little books um, and I have a little box to like archive them. But I just think having more pages will just be better than having, I think these both have like 50 pages, whereas this one has like a hundred and some. For my bookmark, I have this, uh, John Wick, uh, these tickets for when we saw John Wick 3, which I loved. So I like to put this to mark the place that I'm at. And then I'll use a rubber band to hold it closed, um, which is why some of these stickers are kind of messed up, but that's okay. These books go through a lot of wear and tear because I'll put these in my pocket. I'll throw them in my backpack. This one spent a lot of time in my pocket. So if they get a little beat up, that's totally fine. But I wanted to show these in case anyone is interested in also adapting this type of note taking. <laughs> I feel like people might think this is like overkill or like way too much work, but it's just something that I enjoy because I just like to unpack my brain on paper. It just works for me. That may not work for everyone, but this makes me happy.